Hey guys, welcome to my house. Thank you for inviting us into your home for an exciting episode of 30 Questions with the Khaleesi's by Lenovo. Nah, only a pleasure. Let's just go to Rachel, she's sitting here. I'm sorry, she's working a little bit, so I'm gonna have to... Hey, they're here. Hey guys, hi. So is this what an average day in the Khaleesi household looks like? Yeah, pretty much it. Uh, me chilling and Rachel working. <laughs> Well, that and normally we have a number of kids running around, which is a little bit chaotic at times, but, uh, but yes, I think Sia hit the nail on the head there. <laughs> awesome. What is your nickname for each other? Babe. Yeah, babe, that's it. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do as a family? Bush, definitely. We love going to the bush, and especially to just to switch off and have no network and we just get in touch with nature. Yeah, I think because uh, we spend so much time apart and all over the place, just any time that we're together and we're able to do something, yeah, as a family is always amazing. Sia, what's your go-to karaoke song and how often do you sing it? Uh, there's a lot of different ones. Oh, uh, the single lead. Oh, no, that's not what, no. Maybe it's the way she walks. Ow! Straight into my heart and stole it. Through the doors and past the girls. It's enough, babe. It's not a very good singer, so. Just like she already on it. Got it, babe. Well done. Sounds better in the shower. I say, can you give it back to me? Sorry, the kid away. Sia, what's the best pickup line you can do? Um, babe, I don't think I have any pickup lines at all. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not good at it. Rachel, what's the most romantic thing Sia has ever done for you? I wouldn't say there's a specific thing, but something that he does do every day, which is amazing, is he phones me during the day, every day, just saying that he loves me and um, he misses me and he's thinking about me. And he does that without fail, which is... Um, Man, are you hearing this? Pretty special. Okay, for the computer space. Sorry, I'm just... In, <laughs> you just gave me a compliment. It's rare. Rachel, what are your favorite features of your Lenovo Yoga? Oh, um, I don't know if I could name all of my favorite features, but uh, definitely one that's super convenient with, for me is signing a lot of documents. Um, having the Draw app on the uh, Word is makes it super simple, especially because it's a um, it's a touch screen and um, so signing documents is super quick, super easy and uh, yeah, my team love it. Yes. And Sia, what's yours? Mine. <laughs> okay, very serious question for you, Sia. If you had to choose between giving up Rachel or giving up rugby, which would it be? It's not even a question. Cheers. <laughs> I'll give up Rachel. <laughs> I thought you knew, knew this. At your own risk, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm joking, I'm joking. How does it feel to be the captain of the South African national rugby team? Um, it's not something I think about each and every single day, but it's a huge honour and, um, and a privilege. And I think just being a player in the Springbok rugby team is huge. Just to represent the country is huge. Being captain um, is, is a bonus, but I sure don't feel like a captain when I'm in the house around Rachel. Mm. Rachel, what lessons have you learned from your kids? A lot of patience. I think uh, big lessons learned from kids is, is patience like you've never known before. Um, but I think also just as, as we grow older and you know we realize a lot more risk, a lot more, um, I don't know, just a, a lot more to be aware of as we're older, that actually it's important to have a kid-like mindset sometimes and actually just um, think like kids do. You know, often I'll explain to my son, who's almost nine years old, oh, I've had a really hard day and it's been rough. And, uh, and he'll just give me a response that is so simple to me and just makes so much sense. And uh, yeah, I think so just a reminder to, to be and think like a kid sometimes is important. That's incredible. That's me every day. Yep. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sia, what's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is going to the bush, safari, 
where there's no network, where life is simple, you can actually interact with your loved ones and just chill. And you have to communicate, which is nice. Rachel, if you could have dinner with someone famous, who would it be? Jason Mimosa. No, I think if I could have dinner with someone famous, it would definitely be a woman. <laughs> Jason Mimosa. Um, either Michelle Obama or Oprah. And Rachel, what is your favorite South African expression? Ubuntu, definitely Ubuntu. I, um, I love that concept of I am because you are, or I am because uh, through other people. And um, I think it's something that makes us so unique as South, African. South Africans and uh, as a nation. And um, it's something that goes far and wide for all of us. And I think every single one of us as South Africans understands that concept so well um, because it has such a, a value for every single one of us. Sia, how many languages do you speak? Um, I think four. All, I can speak Kosa, can speak right, everything in Kosa, English too, Afrikaans, and then in Zulu, I can understand a little bit because it's similar to Kosa. Yeah, those are the only ones, and hopefully soon I'll be saying bonjour, ça va? Rachel, what's something about yourself that a lot of people wouldn't know? I don't know, I think something about me that people wouldn't know. I used to drag race cars. Rachel, if you could give one piece of advice to your younger self, what would that be? I think if I could give one piece of advice to my younger self, it would be to laugh a lot and just not take life so seriously. Because you did not. <laughs> What's your favorite part of the home? Let me actually take you to my favorite part of the home. I'll see you in a few. Just chilling here and looking outside and getting some fresh air. It's always my favorite place to go. It's for Rachel too, she sits here. She could sit here last Sunday after church and then me and the kids were doing funny, <laughs> uh, funny things um, in the house. Who was your sports idol growing up? I have too many people that I looked up to, guys like Putsoli Kibilika, um, Joe Faniker, Escal Berger, John de Villiers. Um, there were a lot of different ones here. What's your favorite rugby memory? Uh, getting my first game for the Springboks and obviously winning the World Cup. Which music do you listen to before a match? Um, gospel or worship music. To, just to calm me down because I'm always, my body's boiling before the game, I'm psyched up and then to calm me down and give me peace is, um, and I also feel protected when I listen to worship music. What do you say to yourself before a match? Um, it's actually funny thing, I actually dedicate the week is my hard work and then the game, it's when I think, when I give it to I'm a Christian, so I give it to God. I believe it's his day to take over and shine. And it takes all the pressure off my shoulders. All I can do is just give my best. Which sports are you terrible at? Well, just found out the other day that I'm not a cricketer. I'm definitely not a soccer player. Um, I might look like a soccer player, you know. Um, I look, I've got, when I put on the kit, I look like the best soccer player in the world. But yeah, cricket and soccer, I've just discovered it's not my thing. Sia, can you show us your best dance move? I don't know, I don't think do. Just do it for us. I got this for you. No, I need you for my dance move. How does it go? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think she's just done it for us. <laughs> okay, show me again. Okay, that, that, what she did there was supposed to be this one, yeah. And yeah, that just says a lot about my wife's dancing move. Sia, can you teach Rachel a coarser word that she doesn't already know? Isi paka paka. Isi paka paka. And what does that mean? Isi paka paka, it's a sky. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Well, that's it for today's episode of 30 Questions with the Khaleesi's, brought to you by Lenovo. 
Rachel, Sia, thank you so much for welcoming us into your home. Thank you so much for coming. It was uh, great to have you guys and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Just a small bit of our life. Come back, okay? Tomorrow, same time, same place, we'll be here. No, no, I'm joking, don't come. We won't be here. There'll be kids and everything. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>